Alright boys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining my worst Roblox game development mistakes, okay? Now, I've made a lot of mistakes, alright? <laughs> uh, and I'm basically making this video just so you guys don't make the same mistakes as me, alright? Because I've made way too many. And uh, obviously, I'm not going to be showing you all of them, but probably just like the worst ones and uh, the ones I remember, I guess. So yeah, hopefully, you know, you watch out for a few of these things and don't do them like I did. Um, but yeah, I'll be sure to let me know any mistakes you guys made as a beginner in the comments below too. I'm curious, and uh, let me know if you made any of the let me know if you made any of the same ones. So yeah. All right. Anyways, let's get started. All right. So this is um th okay 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 okay. All right. So not setting a release date. All right. So a lot of you guys probably don't do this, and you know some of you guys might not consider a mistake. Um, some of you might think it's okay to not have a release date, and you know that's a fair point. Maybe it is. Um, but personally, now I always do this. Right now, um. The reason why I actually think this is like a mistake or whatever is because it, it you never really like had a specific time that you needed to get the game done. And like if okay, this goes especially if you're a solo developer, okay? If you're a solo developer and you don't set a release date, that is a big issue because really nothing is holding you accountable. Nothing is pushing you behind your back saying, you know, nothing's closing in on you, right? Um, I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but you kind of want someone to do that. You you want to have some accountability. You want to have like a little bit of stress, I guess you could say, to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself working on the game, right? So um, this is just, you know, honestly useful to motivate yourself, all right? Now, um, like, okay, so what I used to do, right, as I, I said here, I would always, like, say, okay, I'll give myself two weeks for the game to be completed, but then I'll never actually commit to it, because I never, like, wrote it down or anything, I never put a date down anywhere, so I never actually committed to that. So, like, it's really important that once you start developing your game, I'd say after a couple of days of developing it, you know, for a little bit, you understand what needs to be done, what else you need to do, how long it's going to take. So after you develop for a couple of days, I would say set the release date then. I mean, just think of an idea. If you don't know how much time you need to give yourself, just... Take something, think of something reasonable, and if it's too much time, then you'll know um, toward the end. If it's not too much time, then, then you know, perfect, right? That's what you want. Um, so just set a time that you think is reasonable and do it, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Um, it, it really helps a lot, trust me. Not only will you be able to hype it up for anyone who wants to play it, you'll be like, yep, it's this day, you know, August 15th or August 30th or, you know, it's coming out, you know, November 31st, you know, what, whatever day, right? You'll tell everyone, right? They'll be like, oh, okay. So they'll, they'll know when they can play it, right? So it kind of hypes it up for them too, and uh, you can get yourself a bigger launch that way as well, which is definitely good for your games because you get more players, right? So, yeah, definitely do this. I, I mean, you know, you don't have to, but I highly recommend it, highly recommend it. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. All right, this is the one probably a lot of you guys do, okay? <laughs> I still see some people use this, like, legit all the time. I see people doing this, okay? This is, I, honestly, I I made this mistake for a little while, but, like, it really it really wasn't that big of a deal for me. But a lot of you do it, so I'm going to mention it, okay? Using too many plugins, bro. I swear, like, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll be in a call with someone, right? They turn on the screen share, and it literally, they have, like, every single plugin at the top right they just got like literally every single plugin on their screen i'm like bro why do you have so many plugins do you even use those they're like nah and i'm like then why do you have them and they're like oh well i don't know just in case i want to and i'm like that's dumb okay now i'm gonna explain why that's dumb right now um this is an issue, right, obviously, because it actually slows down your studio a bit, but also, right, a lot of times you'll see those errors in the bottom of the output, and be like, what are those from? And actually, it'll be from your plugins, right? Um, but also, what's really bad about these plugins is that some of them actually can have viruses, right? Now, this is very bad. Now, why is this bad? Well, because, you know, people can exploit in your game from the server side. If you don't know how exploiting works, go watch my video about that, maybe. Um, that might help you understand it. But people can exploit from the server side. So I mean, that means they can basically do anything, all right? I swear, I wish I was recording this, dude. I wish I recorded it. One time, I like my friend, right, we were on, he was on my team crate, and he had like some Road Defender plugin or something like that, right? Some some antivirus plugin. And it basically made it so there was like a, there was like, uh, like a, required this script, right, this random script that basically made it so they have server scripts, right? And somebody, we, okay, we were in the game, right, after we published it, somebody joined, and they made it, like, change, they made every part change colors, and it was, like, flashing colors, and then, like, it, like a Discord notification popped up on Roblox, and it said, Builder Man is calling you, bro, I wish I was recording it, it was legit the funniest thing ever, um, but... It was so funny, but um, yeah, that was because the guy actually had a plugin that gave you a virus. So make sure you don't have too many plugins, or if you do have a plugin, just make sure it's a reputable one. Make sure, make sure it's made by someone reputable, right? Um, and it has a lot of installs, right? Because a lot of these times, a lot of times, there actually be plugins that are have viruses. Like this one right here, probably has a virus. This one, like again, look, look at this, right? 
All right, you see this virus up here, or not the virus, antivirus, you have antivirus up here, and then you have antivirus down here. It's the same logo, okay? So obviously somebody here's a little bit sus. Someone here's a little bit suspicious. Someone's probably doing something bad to your game. So like, watch out for those, especially the antivirus one, guys, trust me, those, those, are, those are just bad. Um, I would not download those at all. They, they honestly, they aren't really good in my opinion anyways. So yeah, anyways, um, yeah, that's a big mistake. Make sure you don't do this, it's, it's a big mistake. All right, anyways, um, this was honestly a big mistake for me too not googling my issues okay i legit like okay i would have an issue right um like for example let's say some scripting problem i wouldn't know what to do i get stuck or i get this error and i'm like what do i do what do i do i you know i don't know how to fix this bug right i'm rereading my code i'm like what do i do i have no clue right so what i do is i I'd end up i'd end up just taking a break right i'll be like all right you know what whatever i'll come back to this tomorrow and then i come back tomorrow i still don't know what to do so then i ended up just giving up in general right so i end up just like you know what frick this game you know this game is stupid anyway and i'll end up giving up on it and that's a problem right obviously because you're not you're not finishing your games so you definitely need to make sure you ask for help i think it was honestly just like an ego thing for me i guess i was embarrassed to ask for help i don't really know what it was but i i honestly never asked for help for anyone i always thought i could figure it out on my own and you know it's not very a good good mindset to have is it's okay to ask for help nothing wrong with that at all um you know ask people for help if you want to sometimes we need it you know what i mean everyone needs help honestly so don't feel bad for asking for help anyways all right now if you want to know where you ask for help Obviously, you can ask a friend, or um, you can go on the dev forum, the Roblox dev forum, um, or you can go to my Discord server. A lot of very help, a lot of very helpful people are there. Um, all the time, people help each other all the time. It's really cool. Uh, link to that in the description below if you want to join the Discord server. So yeah. Anyways, um, just ask for help, guys. Seriously, if you need help with something, just ask. People are willing to help you, and uh, you know, it's 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 not a bad thing to do. All right, don't feel embarrassed if you do need help. Okay, this is honestly not that big of an issue, but sometimes it was. Because sometimes I, I develop a game, right, and then I'll, I'll come back to it later, and I won't know what the code does. So basically, what, what I mean by this is never commenting my code, right? So if you guys don't know, if you guys aren't programmers, you probably don't understand this, but this is more for my scrippers out there, okay? But basically, I never commented my code, okay? And now, this is bad because sometimes you're going to reread your code, you don't know what it does, right? And But if I were to just put like a simple comment that just like takes five seconds, then I would know exactly what it did, and I would have to reread it again and have to figure out what it does again you know what i mean it wastes so much time trust me so as you can see here this this is a comment right here in code you just put those little two dashes or two like negative symbols i guess and um then you can type everything here and then it won't be like you know it won't actually count as code it's, it's a comment right so as you can see uh, this isn't actually my code I, I just found this off like a screenshot but as you can see uh basically it tells you what it does loop through all the teams and find the one with the same color as our player. Perfect, right? Now, now I don't have to read this to find out, right? It, you know you know what I'm saying? It just saves you so much time. Definitely do it. Especially, especially if you have another scripter on your team. If there's two scripters on your team, you make sure you're doing that because you're going to be reading, reading each other's code all the time. So make sure you're doing that for sure. Um, so yeah, I know it gets kind of tedious to do sometimes, but trust me, guys, just do it, all right? It's not that hard. Um, you know, just do it. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, I'm not going to waste your time with too many mistakes, alright, honestly I've made so many more, but those are some of my biggest ones, uh, especially that, that deadline one, that was a big one for me, and also, please don't use so many plugins, okay, <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, I made so many mistakes, but that's just a few of them, hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did like always, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Roblox game development videos just like this one, and anyways, that's it, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one, peace.